morning everybody today on the agenda is making some french pickles just got some locally grown pickling cucumbers and i'm excited to share with you a french pickle recipe and we'll make them together if you've never canned before which is also where i'm at i have not yet canned that is on the list but this is a easy quicker alternative so you can make some pickles without having to go through the whole canning process now you can't keep them shelf stable like you can with canned pickles but they do last in the fridge for four to six weeks if you keep the cover on and in the fridge in between nibbling so let's get started with making some fridge pickles so let's go over what we're gonna need to make our pickles. Of course, we're gonna need cucumbers. I get the pickling ones. They're smaller, they're about four inches. Um, local is obviously better, but if there is no option for that, just get cucumbers at the grocery store and make them anyway. This is a great skill to have, even if you don't have the ideal ingredients. You're also gonna want some kosher salt. I just picked up a new thing. I get peppercorns. It's a little bit milder than just putting straight ground pepper in there, but it helps it get that flavor. I also enjoy putting some mustard seed and a little bit of garlic. I just use a little. It's a complete preference thing. You might like yours really garlicky, you might not want garlic at all. I also use apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar, that's fine. And you're also gonna need water. You can't forget the best ingredient of them all that makes it pickle. I have it out on my balcony. Oh, the sun. Your fresh dill. So if you don't have a dill plant like I do, of course you can buy dill. Uh, farmers markets and in stores but the best is to just get it right from the plant. I'm gonna do mine in these pint ball mason jars with the wide mouth. I like wide mouth more because it's just easier to get everything in there and I'm doing mine in pint. You can do it in half pint. You could even do a little one of quart. You could do a gallon if you really wanted to. Completely up to you but this is what I'm deciding to use. So the first step will be cutting the cucumbers into little circles. So let's start doing that. I'm gonna start filling my jar. So three pickling cucumbers for my pint jar is just about perfect. You want to leave a little room at the top and not have it completely filled. So that's just about perfect. The next step is going to be making the brine. Now you're obviously going to adjust this recipe depending on how many jars you want to make, what size jars you're using. I'm just going to start with how much it would be for one pint jar to help guide you with the amount. So it doesn't have to be exact since this is an actual canning and it can be adjusted for preference as well. But this is just kind of a starting point for you and your personal taste preference. So for my pint, I'm going to start with a half cup of water and a half cup of my apple cider vinegar. I'm also going to put into here about two tablespoons of my salt. Um, about a fourth of a tablespoon of my pepper and 
about a pinch of the mustard seed as well. That'd be about a fourth of a tablespoon. This mixture is going to go on the stove top for until it's simmering. So I'm gonna move that over. In my jar, I am going to put my dill sprigs and I'm gonna put a decent amount. I like the dill flavor. I'm just gonna pick, throw it in there. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one. You wanna put this in here before the brine. That's probably good. I forgot earlier to add my little bit of garlic. I'm just going to use this one clove for my one jar. I don't want my pickles to be super garlicky. I want the focus to be more on the dill flavor. So I'm just gonna mush that up a little. And that's also gonna go right in the jar, just like that. Perfect. So with this recipe, you might find that to your taste, the pickles are a little too tart. If that's the case, you can always add a little sugar and I actually am gonna add just a little bit of sugar beforehand, but you can adjust as you find your preference. So the salt, looks dissolved and you can smell the vinegar in the air it's nice and warm so i'm gonna take that off of the stove burner and over here i'm gonna allow this to cool down just a little bit you don't want to pour it in when it's scalding just a little bit warm while i'm waiting for that to cool I'm using my little spatula to kind of try to push everything down. You want everything to be under the brine. You don't want anything above the brine. And that's important, especially if in the future you want to do fermented pickles, which I might do how to do that in a future video. But you just want to make sure everything is below the brine. It has cooled down enough, and I'm going to go ahead and pour that into our jar. As you can probably see, it's not fully covering everything, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to the top of it so that everything is covered. And just a bit more vinegar for good measure, since I like mine with, you know, a good amount of that BAM wow factor. I'm using an, a lid to a reusable cup that I have that I know I won't need and sticking it in there to help keep everything under the brine. But after that, I'm going to put that on top. I'm going to put a piece of tape and a marker and write the day that I made these so that I can kind of keep track and like I said these can last up to six weeks in the fridge to eat from you probably won't even need to know that well because you'll go through them but it's just kind of a good habit to get into of marking when you've made things so that you know and these are gonna go right into the fridge So now that they're in your fridge, I would recommend you leave them and don't open them for at least a week to get that really good flavor. Technically you can open them and start eating after 24 hours, but if you want to have a really good pickle taste, I would wait a week. You can even wait more if you want to. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to make some pickles that you can just keep in your fridge for up to six weeks. And like I've said, 
if you're not quite at the canning spot yet in your life but you want to start learning some preserving skills that is a very good one because like i said who who doesn't go through pickles in six weeks they're going to be very tasty they stay very crunchy the better the cucumbers you get initially the crunchier they'll stay over time they do get less crunchy so that's one thing to keep in mind is that if you like a crunchy pickle you might want to get through it even faster but that's easy peasy i'd love for you to try and let me know i'm going to have a written version of how to do this in my blog post that i will link down below for you if you like to have a recipe to read i know even with my own recipes i like to go and look at my own blog sometimes to remind me of everything so there you have it i hope you all have beautiful days and spread the love okay goodbye <laughs>